everyone good afternoon this is manjit rawat your online instructor so guys welcome back once again to my youtube channel teach me cloud and guys today i'm going to describe you about another topic based on ag104 certification content based video series and in this video we'll give you the both information like as a theoretical and practical part of our azure backup and recovery services so guys let's start our practical so before start a practical if you're new on my youtube channel if you're watching my video first time so you can subscribe my channel for more update Uh, to find the multiple uh, technology based video in my youtube channel playlist so let's start our practical so before we start the practical just try to understand about the concept and service name that can help you to manage your backup and recovery services so guys as we know that over at microsoft as you we have a, up to 3500 different services are available so in 3500 different services we have a one of important service which can help us to manage the backup and recovery so basically the service name is recovery service vault i hope you know about it recovery service vault so basically uh, recovery service vault is a uh, service of microsoft azure with the help of this particular service you are able to manage your uh, backup and recovery services you can also configure the replica as well so we'll discuss more about this particular task so first of all we need to open our azure portal so open any browser and uh, Uh, log in your azure account by using portal.azure.com Okay then. So we successfully log in our Microsoft Azure portal, and over our portal, we need to select a uh, select and create a one service recovery service vault. So guys, just click on all services, and again we need to click on the storage part because the storage recovery service vault service available in storage. So just click on the storage, and this is the recovery service vault. So what you need to do, we are planning to manage and understand about the concept of recovery service vault because the recovery service vault contain various options to take the backup of your on premises thing to take the backup of your cloud services as well so what we need to do we need to create a one recovery service vault and then we'll discuss about the option which is available in recovery service vault property so click on the recovery service vault and create a new recovery service vault because we don't have any services so just click add okay and we need to fill three in important information this is the basic information tag and create and review review and create select your resource group type the name of your recovery service vault so i'm going to proceed with the demo 1988 this is our recovery service vault name and uh, i'm going to proceed with uh, location of central us click next if you want to proceed with the tag name you can fill here otherwise just click add review and create it's a really simple option to Uh, step to create your recovery service vault the important thing is that you need to know about the option which is available in our recovery service vault because we'll be talking about uh, uh, to method to create our recovery service vault just few step to create your recovery service vault it may be take one or two minute time now it successfully created just click on the go to the resources and see this is the name that you choose while creating the recovery service vault and in the uh, recovery service vault property we have a n number of options so we'll try to understand about the entire option which is available in the property see like we'll discuss about the setting we'll discuss about the getting started and also we'll discuss about the protect items manage and monitoring panel and some information related to the automation we'll also discuss about the automation services so first of all we need to understand about the basic settings and basic uh, information basic setting which is available in our recovery service vault uh, uh, property so so first of all we just need to click on the getting started so in the getting started we have a two different option one is backup and another is site recovery so uh, we need to proceed first backup 
whenever we click on the backup option it give you uh, a multiple way to take the backup of your resources like as a first where is workloads azure azure stack and on premises so firstly just try to understand about the concept of uh, uh, in which case you need to proceed with Azure, in which case you need to proceed with on-premises or Azure stack. So you need to know about the actual concept uh, which is available in the backup option. So guys, uh, just select the Azure first. So as per the name, where is your workload? Where is your running, uh, where is uh, your workload running? Means uh, it's talking about the services that you are that you plan to take the backup of your services is running in, in the location of Microsoft Azure. So if you want to take the backup of your Azure services, you need to proceed with first option means uh, uh, by choosing the option of Azure. Second is Azure Stack. So as per the name, the meaning of Azure Stack is, is, is the meaning of Azure Stack is basically a hybrid technology. Hybrid in the sense you have some services running on on-premises, you purchase some services from Microsoft Azure and you are planning to take the backup of your hybrid environment. So that time you need to select uh, Azure Stack and last we have our on-premises. So as per the name of on-premises, for example, you purchase your on-premises server, you created your on-premises server, you establish your file uh, server on local machine. So you are planning to take the backup or creating the replica of your on-premises services. So you can proceed with the on-premises. So guys, I hope you understand about the both option which is available in our uh, <coughs> backup. So firstly, we need to check how many options, how many options, how many things you are able to take the backup if you proceed with Azure. So you have option to take the backup of virtual machine. You can proceed for uh, file share, Azure file share, SQL database and SAP. So we have a four different options. We have a four different services available uh, to take the backup with the help of recovery service vault. If your service is running on Azure portal. So in this video we will give you the live example live practical of uh, to configure a backup from Azure portal and put the backup on Azure, uh, Azure uh, portal as well. So means you can say that uh, take the backup from Azure and put the backup on, on, on Azure portal. So that's why I'm planning to proceed to take the backup of Azure file share. So in the Azure file share what you need to do you need to create a one uh, storage account because uh, uh, our file share service available in a storage account. So that's why I'm going to proceed and create a one storage account. Uh, select your resource group and type the name of your uh, storage account. So I'm going to proceed with training 1988 and select the location. So I'm going to proceed with central areas. We have already discussed about the option which is available in the storage account so that's why I'm going to proceed directly. We want to access the uh, storage from publicly that's why proceed with public, review and create. So try to understand about the agenda of uh, taking the backup from Azure to Azure. So guys where is your workload? So our workload is running over Azure. Correct? This is the location of your workload. So over Azure, you purchase a one storage account with name of training. You purchase a one storage account. And in the storage account, we need to create a one file share. Because we are planning to take the backup of our file share. Correct. Azure is our location, Azure is our portal. And in the portal, we created a one service with name of, uh, the service name is storage account. In the storage account, we need to create a one file share service clear and we will configure the backup for our uh, uh, file share with the help of Azure recovery service vault correct so Azure recovery service vault is a basically a type of uh, um, Azure service which is responsible to configure the backup of your Azure services or on-premises services or premises resources so but right now right now I'm going to uh, give you the step to configure our Azure service backup oh, fine it's validated just click create
So what's our agenda? Our agenda is to take the backup of our files here and put to the uh, put into the uh, recovery service vault. Fine. So uh, meanwhile, I'm going to open a two different wizard. Uh, one is recovery service vault, and another is our storage account. Demo 1988 is our recovery vault name and the, in the recovery service vault we need to click on backup and backup we have option of where is workload so we know that we are planning to take the backup of our uh, storage file, file, file services so that's why we need to proceed with Azure and select your uh, service that you want to take uh, that you want to create a backup. So right now we are planning to configure the backup for file share. That's why I'm going to proceed with Azure File Share service. But before proceed, you need to create and upload some file in our uh, storage accounts file share. So this is our training 1988 uh, storage account. In the storage account, we have option of file share. Just select file share. Click file share again. Type the name of your file share. Like I'm going to proceed with the uh, class. This is our file share name class file how much you want to distribute so I'm planning to distribute one gig of space to my customer or client click create we successfully created a one file with name of class file click here to open and now you have option to uh, upload your data from on premises so just click on upload it gives you option to upload directly from your base machine from your on premises machine so just click select file I'm going to upload some files like uh, any file you can upload like I'm going to proceed two different Excel file click upload now it's successfully uploaded if you want to upload something like uh, this again click here I'm going to upload some images Fine, I'm going to upload one uh, uh, aws.png. So now total number of three different files you have successfully uploaded in our uh, uh, file share. And in the file share, we created a one uh, a file share name with name of class file. Now open your storage account, open your recovery service vault agent, select workload location, select the uh, type of services that you want to take the backup and now click back. This time you need to proceed and select your storage account because you know that our file share service is available in storage account. So just click select. Training 1988 is our storage account name. Select it again. And now you have option to select uh, your uh, uh, container name. You can say that the file name, file share, because we, in single storage account, you can create a multiple file share. So that's why in second option you need to select your file share name as well. It will take few minutes to validate your entire storage account. So we need to wait up to one or two minutes. Now it's okay. Fine. Successfully accepted. Now click add to decide, define the file name. So guys, this is the file name that we created with name of class, class file. Click OK again. Everything is okay. Just click enable backup. If you want to schedule the backup, just click on create new policy. Otherwise, you can just click enable. It's initializing. It will take time according to the data that you uploaded in your file share. Now it will take some few minutes. Deployment in progress. So we need to wait up to two to four minutes.
okay so deployment successfully configured so what you need to do just close it and go to the backup items to verify your backup is uh, uh, configured successfully or not so just click backup items which is available in protected item and in the backup items we have a n number of options available so but in azure storage we have a single backup and rest of services have a zero backup so it means that our backup is uh, configured successfully it's a display the uh, pending because you selected the time of uh, uh, different time you selected so you just need to open it and click backup now because you are planning to configure backup manually although you have option to schedule the backup and on the time of scheduling it will be automatically start your start taking the backup of your data or services that you want now it's uh, successfully triggered i'm going to uh, click again here and refresh the page now it succeeds it so we successfully configured our backup and now i'm going to open our storage account open class file that we created this is our file share name and in the file share we uploaded our three different data three different files so i'm going to just delete the data okay no need to delete the container you need to delete the data means files are uh, folder that you uploaded in the file share now there are no data available you successfully deleted unfortunately deleted so but no problem you have already configured the backup so no worry about it open your recovery service vault and uh, again click on the backup items in the backup item select your backup that you configured okay class file that we created open it and now we have a two different option restore restore share and uh, file recovery so guys if you want to recover the few files like you create you uploaded a three different file but unfortunately all the file deleted but you want to take the backup of only single file you can proceed with file recovery if you want to restore the entire file that you deleted so you need to proceed with restore share where you want to uh, you just need to select the restore point click select and uh, it give you the information about your uh, restore point if you configure multiple storage multiple recovery if you created multiple restore points so you have uh, you need to select your uh, um, actual uh, restore point that you want we have only single so that's why i'm going to proceed with same one we have a two different way to take the backup of to take the recovery of our data one is original location another is alternate location so as per the name you want to con you want to take the recovery on the same location that's why we need to proceed with original if you want to put your data in different location or different storage account you need to proceed with alternate location no need to do anything here just click restore so this is the simple way to take the backup of your Azure file share services with the help of recovery service vault. And guys, in next class, in next video, we will discuss about how we can configure the backup from on-premises to cloud. Like for example, you establish your uh, file server in local environment, in local machine, and you want to configure the backup of your local file and folders. So uh, we'll give you the proper step to configure uh, our uh, file and folder backup, which is available in on-premises. Now it's successfully configured. Now open your storage account that you created. We created a storage account with name of training 1988. Open class file that you created and just refresh the page and it will be restored the entire data. See, all the files available that you deleted. So this is the procedure. This is the way to configure the uh, so you start use the recovery service vault. So guys, I hope you understand about the uh, uh, step. Uh, uh, I hope you understand about the uh, step to configure uh, recovery service vault. Guys, if you have any question, if you have any um, doubt, please let me know. You can also drop a comment. Uh, uh, I will definitely try to help you. So for today, it's enough. I will discuss more about the recovery service vault by next class. So take care and bye bye guys.